If you are stuck, not necessarily in addiction, but if you're stuck in a bad relationship, in a bad job, in a schedule that you hate, if you just don't like your day-to-day -day life, this episode is for you. I had a conversation today with a friend who is going through a big life change right now, and we were talking about the difficulties of how you frame big changes if you wanna be successful, if you really wanna find your way out of a situation or into something better, how you need to, to look at all the, the scenarios involved. And there's a lot. And the older we get, if, you're, you know, if you get married and you have kids and you have a job and a career and responsibilities, there's even more scenarios to consider. But the only one that matters is how you view yourself in that situation. And we were talking about how we get stuck with a self-image of the person who's stuck in that situation. So we see ourselves as the person who is in the problem and then we think we need to change uh, an external factor in the equation and that will help solve the situation when really that's rarely the case. And if that does happen, it's more luck than anything else. If you're trying to make more sales and you look at yourself like I, I'm, I'm not hitting the goals that I wanna hit, maybe I'll start dressing differently. I'll start wearing a suit and convey that I'm successful and that'll make me feel like I'm successful and I'll start making more sales. Really, you're still viewing yourself as the person who can't make sales, who needs to dress different to make sales. Trying to have the doing change the being and you're not being anyone different. You're doing something to try to be different. And that's that's where we get the equation backwards. And if we bring it back to addiction, it's probably the the worst case of all because you know, if you're early on in your recovery, for instance, and you're like, I I have to go to three meetings a day, I have to call my sponsor twice a day, I have to avoid all people, places, things, triggers. Some of that stuff may be important in the beginning, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't believe in any of it for one second. That view has people white knuckling their way through recovery because you're still viewing yourself as an addict or an alcoholic who has to keep up with all of these things or they're gonna fall back into their addiction. And I think that leads to a life of honestly mediocrity. These are the people that are drinking too much coffee, smoking too many cigarettes and feeling a major void in their life. And they're trying to fill it with meetings and all this recovery nonsense. but they're not really escaping the issue. They're just holding on and wishing life was better than it was. And you, you know, the old phrase is, at least I'm not dead or in jail or underground or whatever. It's setting such a low standard for recovery. It's just like, well, at least it, you know, I'm not an addict anymore. When I think the bar can be set so much higher if you change your view of the situation you wanna be in and who the person is that needs to be in that situation. And I think I got lucky in a lot of ways with how I found success with recovery so easily. And it's because deep down, I was not willing to accept the fact that I was going to struggle with addiction for the rest of my life as it's a, you know, it's, it's a disease and you're never gonna get over it. And it's always something you're, you, you, uh, you have, you're powerless over your addiction. I did not accept that for one second. And I really dismissed everything in the typical recovery community. And while I almost want to say, this isn't for everybody, or you got to be careful, I don't think that's the case. Because if you look at recovery rates, it's not working. And it's because we are viewing ourselves as an addict or an alcoholic forever. And then we're just trying to, to hold on to this this slim straw of recovery. And then if we mess up, it's it's gone and we're right back to, to rock bottom. And I think that's just the wrong way to frame any situation in your life that you're trying to get away from. When it, it comes to my situation specifically, what I did was I imagined the, the life I wanted to live. I mean, down to the very detail. Um, I had examples of people that I admired in my life and I looked very closely at their schedule, what they did for work, how they stayed healthy, what they did in their social life, what they drove, what they ate, everything. And you know, luckily I knew these people and I could have these conversations and ask these questions, but there's enough information on YouTube where you can you can find out how if if you have somebody that you admire, somebody that leads by example, you can generally find out enough of their day to day to see how they how they live their life. And 
what I did was I started implementing those lifestyle habits started with exercise. Then I started to go to, you know, a CrossFit gym and I started to eat what these people were eating. And I started looking into careers that these people were working in. And then I'm immersed in this lifestyle of healthy habits. That's eating well, sleeping well, exercising, starting to be more financially responsible, making good decisions with my money, starting to make more money, starting to make investments. And then you're so immersed in this world of just climbing whatever ladder you want to climb, but get in improving your health and improving your wealth, improving how you treat the people around you. Your social status starts to matter. Then you want to start helping other people and you see people that are in a position that you were in and you say, hey, let's go, come this way. And they start doing these same things. And then you're just building up this community around you. And I think it's so much more powerful than going and sitting in a room. But if you wallow in this this lifestyle that you were in and you're not really changing anything, you're just removing, whether it's substance abuse or an abusive spouse, it's a job you hate, and you just continue to live and wallow in it and wish things were different, you're never gonna get out of that. Because again, you're always viewing yourself as the person who's stuck in that situation due to external circumstances that are keeping you down. You have to change that. You have to change that perspective to looking at yourself as somebody who is fully living the life that you want to live. You don't start doing things that changes you. You you change who you are and that pulls you forward. Like when you change who you are, you just start living that life. You look at yourself like you are a successful businessman, athlete, teacher, whatever you want to be. You just start doing what they do. Start living that life immediately. It's not a slow progression of like, well, uh, you know, I'll make it to uh, a couple, a couple meetings, and then you know, I'll start to feel better, and then I'll take a class. Forget all that. Start living tomorrow the life that you want to live. Put yourself into that situation tomorrow. Find somebody that you look up to. Look and see if you can find some information about, you know, what kind of diet do they eat? What kind of exercise do they do? What do they do for work? You have so much information at your fingertips. Just become that person and then mold it to what you really want. Because I'll be honest, the first couple iterations of who I have been over the last 15 years haven't been exactly what I've wanted. But then I adjust, I pivot, I change a habit, I adjust a pattern, I stop doing something that I was doing. You can't just continue with these same habits and lifestyle traits if they're not working for you. you your, your entire life is gonna be like this. Adjust, move forward. See how it is? Adjust, move forward, move sideways, move. Just do something. But don't look at yourself like you're the person with a problem. Look at yourself like you are already living the life that you wanted to live, you're gonna implement those habits and be there. That's all it is. You put the habits into place and you let the universe draw you in. It's that simple. So if you're stuck, stop trying to fix it. Change this or that. Just start living a different way. Wait, if you wake up at 10 a.m. every day and you're not sure why you're unhappy, Maybe start setting your alarm for 7 a.m. See what happens. It's No, it's not easy. Change is never easy, but you have to change something. You cannot keep doing the same thing and expect different results.